statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Although it may look intimidating with its long row of teeth, alligator gar <laughs> live quietly in some of Arkansas's big rivers and backwaters. Our friend Kirsten, a wild woman, joins us from Game and Fish to tell us about these gar, which can be huge. You set up to 300 pounds. <laughs> they are the biggest fish in Arkansas, so that alone makes them cool. They can be over 8 feet long, weigh more than 300 pounds. Wow. So that's a massive fish. Uh, we have four kind of gar in Arkansas. We have long nose, spotted, and short nose. It's called an alligator gar, the one we're talking about today, because it's kind of got that short, broad snout. It looks a little bit like an alligator. Hmm. And it's got really big teeth. It can have a double row on its upper jaw of those canine looking teeth. Wow. So, pretty impressive. Tell us about their history here in Arkansas. Yeah, we back in the 1940s and 50s, Arkansas was a hot spot for fishing for gar. And they were huge. And people came and they used rod and reel, but they would also try out bow fishing for these huge fish. Wow. Yeah, and back then, people thought of them as a trash fish. They said, you know what? They're just eating the sport fish we like more, so they were just kind of thrown to the side. Hmm. Uh, now we know how important a top predator is. They keep other wildlife populations in check. And we know now that gar eat more rough fish, uh, carp and shad and buffalo and that sort of thing. Well, I just so. learned our director, Steve, in the control room says his wife caught one this weekend. Is that right, Steve? Oh, wow. How big was it, Steve? <laughs> It was a baby. It, it was, was a baby, a baby. One, but pretty impressive. It is pretty impressive. You can see them on some of our bigger rivers, the Arkansas, the Mississippi, the white, the red. And when I say see them, you can see them sometimes. Mm. You know, they breathe through gills like a regular fish. But what's interesting is they can come up to the surface and gulp air. So this is how they withstand um, low oxygen um, periods when it's really dry and hot like this is coming up to the surface and gulping air. Mm. So how interesting. Yeah. Let's talk about fishing for them. Some people may accidentally catch them. Are you allowed to fish for the car? You can, and you need to go to agfc.com to learn about some of the regulations on that. Um, so you can definitely fish for them um, under 36 inches. There's some mm -hmm. rules uh, bigger than that. You're going to have to apply for like a trophy permit. So I can't imagine <laughs> reeling that in if you get one of the 300 pounders. I know, I know. Pretty amazing. So they're an ambush predator and they wait sneakily for something to come by and then snatch with that big row of teeth. Hmm. So Yep. How interesting. Mm -hmm. Anything else we should know about them? Um, just a lot of neat history in Arkansas. People really did come to the state to, to fish and bow fish for these gars. So um, we're seeing a decline in their numbers. And a big reason for that is we have done so much to control flooding on our big rivers. Mm -hmm. And that takes away those backwater areas. And that's where they spawn and that's where the young gar live. Um, so they need that backwater. And they live for a very long time, but they have a slow reproductive rate. The female hmm. may not be sexually mature until she's 14, but a gar, an alligator gar could live 50 up to 100 years old. Wow. So they have some similarities to us in their longevity. Impressive creatures. Yeah, they Pretty really amazing. Are. We'd they love are. to see if you've caught one, if you've seen them. Post pictures, we'd love to see them as well. Kirsten, thank you. Always fun you, to have you in. You bet. We're back with a final check of your forecast when we come back. Stick around.